Put it, put it in yours, bro. Because, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm wearing a white shirt, so. Good now. Yeah, you're happy that it started now. <laughs> it's like now it's official. I'm I'm happy now. This <laughs> motherfucker. Now I know. Late to the show. Late to start the goddamn episode. Goddamn busy. For real. What? Why do we? It trip? is what it is. Yeah. God. Using that white privilege, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah. Even in a podcast. He's like, it's my time. It's <laughs> Brucey's time to show. <laughs> God damn. Jesus Shit. Christ. He's like, no, 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 no. We're going to start when I start. And that's when I get there. Yeah. Well, I mean, we had to wait on him. So, yeah. I guess he was right there. Man, I don't know. Where should we start? There's so much wild shit that happened. Can we start with the dude getting eaten by a shark? What? Did you see that shit? No. Uh-huh. So this Russian dude was in uh, Egypt, swimming in the the Red Sea or something like that. This right there by the shore, this tiger shark. Like you, like there's a footage of this dude swimming, and like there's a bunch of people in front of him. He's like kind of like behind a boat, and then you just see his feet go up, and then he just goes straight down like really fast. It was a damn tiger shark. Swallows him whole. I don't know if it swallowed a whole, but. I, I want to say they grabbed that shark and beat the shit out of him to get the body back. God Which I was damn. like, why, 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 why do we do that to sharks and gators and shit when we're in, we're in their fucking territory? Like, yeah. you, you fucked up. You came into the wrong ocean. It's like, no, wait. It's his territory, yeah. not ours. We, what the fuck? we came into the wrong ocean. Like, I, I mean, if one of y'all motherfuckers were to die in the ocean, I would be sad, obviously. But you had it coming, bro. Like, <laughs> you were why, out there. why are you fucking around in the ocean, dude? <laughs> you fucked around and found out. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, why are you? Why is your dumb ass in the ocean? So wait, he was dead, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it you made it made it sound like they still like fought for him to get out. Oh, like, no, oh no. What the fuck? I don't know how long it was. I don't even know how long it was after they caught the shark and beat the shit out of it. If, if it was even the right shark, <laughs> could just been a shark. They just beat the shit out of it. All sharks look the same. Yeah. That's racist, dog. <laughs> you just saying all sharks look the same? Yeah, bro. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> I identify as a shark, and I find that racist. <laughs> oh shit, my bad, dog. <laughs> we uh in the in the group chat with the girls, we always say that bullshit like how trans men and trans women are like, nah, I, I identify as insert, you know, gender or whatever the fuck yeah. or pronoun here, and they're like, yeah, we should uh. Basically, like, calling someone, like, a piece of shit, and they're like, hey, like, you use it against them. Like, you're acting like a piece of shit. Like, no, hey, I identify as a piece of shit, and I find that offensive. <laughs> Just, like, say you you identify as whatever it is and they're like, that, God that, damn that it. they're using against you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that way they look like the asshole. I was like, there's a the loophole right there. Yeah, there you go. I'm like, fuck, you got me. <sighs> like, that one sign, uh, balls, no balls, whatever, <laughs> for the bathroom. I was like, that... That's generally That's how you true. do it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. They're not saying, hey, we don't care what you identify as, sexual preference, any of that shit. Yeah. You got balls? You, balls? you go there. If you don't got balls, you, you go, go on that one. Or you got both? That's weird. <laughs> how do you... What? <laughs> you have balls and no balls at the, at same, the same time. <laughs> Schrodinger's balls, I guess. Huh? Yeah, bro. Mm. Just one of them. Maybe he has one. Mm-hmm. Or they're replaced with ping pong balls, right? <laughs> or they just have marbles in their in their pockets. Balls, yeah, yeah. You never know. My balls identify as marbles, so and there you go. There you go. There you go. I identify as whatever the That's hell I want to. <laughs> fucking hilarious. So wait, so they grab the shark, they beat his ass up, mm-hmm. the ghetto style. Yeah, and with then, like clubs, they clubbed it to death. So they killed it. Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. They're all like, oh, hey. That's what I'm saying. Like, do, my, do y'all my even know if y'all got the right shark, dude? Like, this is, yeah. All sharks look the same. Look, they're like, it was a tiger shark. Tiger sharks, I don't believe, are that big. I think they're smaller. I don't know how a tiger shark Yeah, say, I think. So. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. Or, or am I thinking of bull sharks? Might be thinking of bull sharks. I might be thinking. One of the two. I know that one of them is way smaller, but it's like the most aggressive one. And regardless, I thought uh, tiger sharks have stripes, and that's why they call them the 
Tiger shark. That might be a bull shark. Well, if it was a tiger shark, and that ain't no fucking tiger shark. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so y'all just y'all just out here killing shit for no reason. Yeah. Like fuck this guy. Da da da. That's the wrong guy. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> they all look gonna... the same. <laughs> Let me see if a tiger shark actually has shit. stripes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah. 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 So I don't think that was a tiger shark. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed the wrong shark. Fucking bastards. Yeah, just sit. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I just grabbed a shark. I mean, that's... You no, know, R.I.P. to that shark, not that guy. For real. That guy was just being stupid. The shark was just swimming. <laughs> don't go. <laughs> yeah, don't go swimming in the fucking ocean, dickhead. <laughs> Especially, right. you know, where it's infested with sharks. Yeah. The ocean. <laughs> the ocean is visit, so stay the fuck out of there. All right, we have to talk about this shit because it's wild as fuck. Lizzo's fat ass and her dancers. Oh, God damn. Yeah. I, I forgot about, about that shit. That was popular all throughout this week. Yeah. yeah. That bitch, wow. I saw Apparently. Some, some comic was like, so wait, Lizzo invited them... To have the best night of their life? What the fuck? <laughs> what are you, what, <laughs> why are they getting mad dude, Why are you tripping on that shit? It's like, hey, I want you to grab this hot chick's tits. Oh, I don't want to do it. What are you talking about? Go grab this hot chick's tits. Like, you, uh, you, wanna, uh, you want me to eat a banana out of her snatch? Say, Say less. less, bro. I got yeah. it. Like, on top of that, you're getting paid. Like a whole bunch of money. Yeah, you're getting paid a shit ton of money? You might oh, as well. Yeah. Fuck it. I'll go along with it. But also, I'm not an overweight backup dancer. Yeah. So. Yeah. Which I th- I heard something about her like managing their yeah, weight, managing too. their weight, which is fucking crazy. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, aren't you the bo- body positive? Like out of all this shit, you know? It's like, what the fuck? That's oh, wild. Man, that ain't the pot calling the kettle a fat fuck. I don't know what it is. Though. Yeah, <laughs> you can't be fatter than me, but you have to be a little bit fatter. Yeah, you have to have weight. Yeah. I was like, damn, you're really gonna say that? I was like, Jesus Christ. I wonder if... I, I imagine she's always been like this, though. Oh, that was yeah, standard? Because, uh, because she, she... I think she was a... Prince took her under his wing. So she used to work with Prince. So she's got, you know, some pull in the industry. Mm-hmm. And then, I don't know, she got famous for whatever reason. I don't know, showing her ass out on... LA. I thought it was because of that one song. Cause I'm never heard person that bitch. Oh, I've never heard it. That's, that, that's the only song I that literally I know. only know her from social media. I've yeah. never heard any of her songs, so I can't say if her music's good or bad. Never heard it. I just saw that this bitch was out here pulling some damn Kim Jong Un shit <laughs> with her with her dancers, dancers and, shit. and shit. Yeah, a lot of people were like, "Yeah, this bitch and all that stuff." I was like, "God damn!" Like, you know, y'all could have said something earlier, but you know, the fuck. I just always think it's weird whenever. Uh, they do this to celebrities is that how they all all Gang of a sudden want to jump out of, come out of nowhere. Mm. Now with Bill Cosby and shit like that, I get it because, you know, you felt weird or, you know, like it's, it's a crazy situation that you're being drugged yeah. and then I, sexually assaulted, but with her, with the dancer, like a backup, bitch, you can, if you're a dancer, go get another job for real. Just like yeah, like after you snitch, you can always get another job. Not only that, what what took you so long to fucking snitch? You know? Yeah, I'm not like victim shaming here. I just don't understand why they always take so damn long to do it to come out when it's like. I, I think it's probably because they probably feel like they can't get another job. You know what I mean? Fuck their feelings. Like you know, like say if. You know, maybe these guys and gals aren't like, maybe not like, you know, like super ripped or skinny or Mm -hmm. something like that. You know, I guess they are maybe a little bit, I don't know, I haven't seen them, so I don't know what the fuck they look like. But, you know, the industry standard is, you know, hot skinny chicks and ripped up guys. So if they don't look like that, then they probably don't have a lot of options. Mm Hmm. Then again, well, if, the whole, if your talent is dancing and that's your only marketable skill, you need to figure out what you're doing wrong. <laughs> Goddamn. Hey, even I like know dance. how to fucking <laughs> hang a cabinet. So 
Well, at least I can dance. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot yeah, I mean, I, I can't dance, but. Yeah. Yeah. We saw you at the wedding. Yeah. Hey, relax. <laughs> <laughs> that, to be fair, I wasn't drinking, so. Facts. You weren't drinking or you weren't drinking that much? I wasn't was drinking. drinking. You didn't drink at all? Oh, you yeah. had to drive, huh? Yeah. Yeah, because I was drinking. Pussy. Pussy boy. Yeah. Gay boy. You're not invited to the next one. <laughs> You're not invited to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> to his own wedding? Yeah, you buddy. just made the blacklist, bro. <laughs> Goddamn. All right. One of my favorite topics that happened. I don't know if it was Sunday or Monday, but that fucking Alabama brawl. <laughs> Did you see this shit, uh-huh. though? Oh, bro, shit. it's fucking wild, dude. You haven't seen the memes. You haven't seen the the video. The video was crazy. I, all I know is I heard something about a chair. Yeah. So uh, a guy who was working the dock was asking like a little pontoon boat to move his boat because there was like a whole big ass boat full of people, like a double decker boat. Yeah. Because then and they needed a dock, and they were like, "Nah, fuck you." So they started getting in his face. <laughs> the homie grabbed his hat, threw it up, and I don't know if fucking if all the black Batman in the world took that shit as a sign or what, but like they all ran out of nowhere from like the dock. One black dude was swimming across the. I was like, whoa, shit! Is that the video Sarah posted? Yeah, yeah. Those dudes are not fighting. Well, either way, it's it's, it's a it's a brawl, whatever. It's, yeah, it may not be fighting, but they're. That wasn't even a brawl. Like I watched that video, whatever Sarah posted, that looked like people clowning around. <laughs> well, people got hurt. Yeah, <laughs> did they? Yeah, yeah. a lo- bad. It was bad, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, a bunch of fucking people got hurt. Especially the bitch who was sitting on the ground and got hit in the head with a chair. <laughs> like, I didn't see that part. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the that's whole. That's the main part. thing. Yeah. It's like one dude. He, I guess he gets tired of the shit and just starts tired. Just starts fucking <laughs> pulling the Undertaker <laughs> and beating the shit out of everybody. He just brings out a fucking chair and just die, die. And then there's die. one chick who's like, he hits her and she falls and like that should have been it. And this is where the cops came in because she was like, okay, you got me. He just does it again, rears back, <laughs> tow, hits that bitch on the top of the head. And the cops were like, all right, that's enough. Like, you, that was unfair. Yeah, that, that's not cool. Yeah, that's, yeah, you can't be just knocking hoes out when they're defenseless pretty much. <laughs> oh, shit, that shit was funny. Goddamn. Fucked up, but funny. Wish I was there just to watch it. You're right, just to be, be a part of history. You're right, just to get them. <laughs> I don't, Fuck them. I don't know which which side of history you're on, the right or the wrong side, but it's a part of history. I'll that... tell I'll the line. I don't give a damn. Hell <laughs> yeah! Fucking, they were scrapping up. <laughs> I'll start throwing shit just to help out. Like, here, take this. Use this. He said, "What about your mama?" Ooh. He racist. You're right. Ooh. Someone give him a ladder. Give him a chair. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> Damn, so you good? Start that shit down more. like liquid crack cocaine. They're for real, dog. You put something good. in there? Is that what you, you used to drink? It? Huh? Isn't that what you used to drink? Yeah. The purple drink? Mm-hmm. Mm, but sure, I think it's sure. a different label now. Sugar water purple. Mm. It says zero sugar. Yeah. Mm. Uh, water and purple. <laughs> yeah, water and purple. Well, it's got you know vitamins and shit. So you know nice. all your fucking um, electrolytes. Yeah. You know the stuff plants crave. Yeah, it's really good. I, I really liked it. I just rewatched that movie a couple days ago. Oh, that movie, that movie. <laughs> so fucking good. Uh, Idiocracy. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Electrolytes. God damn it. Have yeah, you tried water in them? I mean, like stuff from the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> The fucking Crop, president Bro the fucking crops Just look like ass <laughs> They're just fucking Spraying them all With like, basically what? Monster energy drinks <laughs> Jesus Christ It was green as shit I was like green as shit yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking dumbasses <laughs> You mean like From the toilet <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fucking love that movie When they're uh, He's getting I guess checked in Or whatever And they have those Three things One goes in the mouth oh, One goes in the ass, ass And he gets them Confused like I don't know here. <laughs> just shoves, shoves in his mouth. Like, oh, he's Jesus. Like, oh, oh. Ugh. So disgusting. He's like, you owe me one, pi- what, contrillions or 
I don't know, a lot of money to fix his house or yeah. something. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? And then at court, I was like, God damn. I got to rewatch it. It has been a while right, since where I've he seen goes it. to court, or he he's his lawyer or something like that. Yeah, he's, he's like, his man, lawyer. he fucked up my wall. He's like, he should owe me. And he talks like a fag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Dutch. I can't believe that was a uh, uh, what you call it, uh, creator of King of the Hill, Mike Judge. Nice. Yeah, that's his movie. Oh really? Yeah. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, he uh, wrote and directed. I can't. I know. It's, uh, maybe he just wrote it, but either way, classic ass. Movie. Hell yeah, yeah, classic ass. Movie. It's not super long either. Nah, no. Uh, you get straight to the point, pretty much. Yeah, it's it's pretty quick, but it's supposed to be. I think it's like a mockumentary. Yeah. Almost, so. We're close. We're close. Yeah. Though. Yeah. 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 Was well, it like he was like a dumbass? Something in the military, right, or something? He was completely average. Yeah. That that was the thing. He was like average in every aspect. aspect. Yeah. yeah, and he was basically a uh, a store clerk, mm. or what we would call a store clerk. Basically, he just he was just there, and yeah, he he just he just like guarded like their armory or something like that, or like a librarian or some shit like that. He, he basically. Bear, desk jo- so, yeah, desk some, jockey. Some bare minimum shit. Yeah, desk jockey. So <laughs> Pencil pusher. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Carpet tunnel. 05. <laughs> and then they, what do they do? They send them in that, they freeze them or some shit like that? Or yeah. It's been a minute since I've seen it. Cryogenically frozen for 500 years. Yeah. And then that one bitch, the other, that one chick. Yeah, the hooker. Yeah. yeah. Is that Maya Rudolph? I can't remember. Whoever she is, she's funny as shit. Rita, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rita, yeah, yeah. I think that's uh, Maya Rudolph. Man, I, I man, I gotta is. rewatch. I, it. I have not seen that movie in like at least six, seven years. I forget how she got frozen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Maya she, Rudolph. Yeah, she uh, basically like the guy in charge of the experiment. Um, he wanted like to grab a civilian, but he ended up like. I guess like her pimp was someone like on their like watch list or something like that. Okay. And so like, you know, to get them closer, he had to well, get her in. Well, I guess basically to, you know, they, they made him like a deal like, hey, give us one of your hoes and, you know, we'll kind of overlook some of the stuff you've done. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then like during the slideshow, it shows like the guy in charge of the experiment. Like, yeah, like. Getting all swerved up and stuff with the girls and drunk and fucking Hell partying yeah. and shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> Turns out for what? <laughs> for real? And he's like talking like super white about like like uh, the pimping game. He's like, hmm. <laughs> you know, pimping and hoes and stuff like that. I'm sure it is very funny. I'm trying to remember tripping. who the pimp was. I can't remember. I, I can't remember who the pimp was. D-grade. 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 But, but who played the pimp? I oh, I don't know. Uh, he... He was only really he they only took pictures of him and then he had like a short little thing at the end short little thing at the end because he comes he comes in the pod and he's like where's my bitch at is it upgrade upgrade there you go yeah, upgrade it's, it's that Scarface bro from uh uh Ghetto Boys <laughs> I don't think I know that one Scarface yeah my mind playing tricks on me you've heard that song a million times Gary used to play it nonstop. He's a rapper from Houston, basically. Maybe I have. It's just not ringing any bells. Yeah, you definitely. At the end, I'll play Mind Playing Tricks on Me. You'll, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. He's like a fucking legend. Mm. Old school cat. Mm. I mean. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I missed the perfect opportunity to transition from that shark into this shit. Uh, cocaine sharks. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was the coast of Florida. Maybe feasting on dumped bales of drugs. Yeah. Is it from the Cubans or what? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Come on. Well, Colombians, Colombians Cubans, yeah. who gives a shit? Yeah. Rice Somebody. is rice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so who cares? Yeah, beans is beans. Yeah, Facts. I was about to say beans, beans, beans is beans, beans yeah. yeah. <laughs> beans, beans be beaning, bro. And, you Swear know, because whenever those, whenever those, uh, the Coast Guard? Yeah. Yeah. Chase them down or whatever. They got to get rid of the evidence. Yeah, they got to yeah. get rid of the evidence. They so just, we didn't have anything. 
dump it down because a lot of times it could be in meat or something could be in anything yeah they, they just gotta hide it well yeah because remember it was like uh, cocaine filled hot dogs or whatever the fuck yeah they can put yeah. that shit in anything shit. dump it in the bottom of the ocean boom you got some crackheads now <laughs> <laughs> no you got shark crackheads Goddamn. <laughs> i forget what show i was watching might have been ncis or something but basically they were doing like Like basically, they they had these like underwater pods mm-hmm. that they would send down. Like it was for the military. Um, they'd be like ammo and like equipment resupply pods mm-hmm. that they would use for like the seals and stuff like that. Yeah. But then like someone was using them for drugs. Hell yeah! So, oh, so they fill them with drugs, drop them down, and then later like grab them. That's smart. Yeah. But again, they, you're never going to stop the uh, drug transportation, trade. Oh, yeah, no. drug trade. I mean, unless you make literally everything legal, legal which you don't want to do, as we found out in Oregon. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. I feel like that was a trial run, bro. That was a trial run. Trial run. And, Just to uh, see how it yeah. goes. And they're like, fuck. It did not work. Mm-mm. They're like, think of how do we try it in Portland? Because fuck these because guys. Because open carry is not a thing in Portland. It is in Texas <laughs> in, or Oregon, whatever the fuck. Uh, it will definitely, you'll have, uh, there'll be mass casualties. Just oh, yeah. Bodies on bodies. <laughs> so, <laughs> let, I'm telling you, let some fucking crackhead or some fucking dope head try to run up on anybody anybody's property here in Texas. Shit, you ain't lying. Ka, 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 ka. Oh, be, my bad. There'll be so many people just waiting to use that fucking gun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know how many people are still waiting to use that gun? Shit. Shit. Every time you walk by the house, you're just like, it. ooh. There are like, so many so many rich damn, so many uh, rich conservatives who don't mind spending the money on that expensive ass ammo. Mm, shit. Mm-hmm. They're all waiting outside for you, just like just step on my property. I'm waiting, just one little step. Purple, purple paint law, bro. Yeah, just one little step. Yep. But misses. Guys, like Jesus, bro. <laughs> Chill out. Shoot, shooting his neighbors, shit up. <laughs> Got them fifty cal. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> Fuck. His, na- his neighbor, his neighbor from seven blocks away. You killed my dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, John Wick. Not oh, shit. No. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a good. That's a good question. Who are the three most badass dudes on on film that y'all can think of? Ooh, got to put Wick in there. Hell cause, yeah. Just because he's Wick. Yeah, John Wick. Um. We put in John Rambo. Yeah, we could do Rambo. Classic. What about? And because the scenario I'm about to ask, their skill sets come in handy, but I don't yeah. think so. Okay, so maybe Schwarz- to- Schwarzenegger from Predator. Mm, I feel like there's somebody. Uh, yeah, I missing. feel like. Yeah, Schwarzenegger from Predator and Rambo, they have a lot of similarities. Yeah. So Rambo. I want to throw like Jean-Claude Van Damme in there. Like a, 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 or what about like a Kung Fu star or something like that? Yeah. Um, Jet Li. What about that samurai guy? The one that was in John Wick? The, with the. Oh, the blonde dude? No, not him. Uh, where he owns that hotel and he invited uh, John Wick. Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. Guy. He, yeah. Who's, he's pretty much like the go-to Japanese Swordsman. guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because um, yeah, he's been in a lot of stuff lately. Oh, yeah. Actually, we could throw a... Uh, uh, yeah, Bullet Train. He's been, he's been in yeah. a lot of shit. Uh, fuck, what's this? He's really blown up. The chick from... Uh, what's the shit? Kill Bill. Oh shit! Uh, what's Uma her Thurman? name? Thurman. Yeah. Uma Thurman. That was a bad Uma bitch, bro. Thurman. Hell yeah! She took on the crazy eighty-eight. Hell yeah! Well, our, uh, I'm I'm down for that one. Yeah, she was pretty badass. She was that. legit, bro. She mm-hmm. come on, Uma we gotta Thurman. give her some credit. I forgot credit. about yeah. that. That's a bad oh, bitch right there. Hell dog. yeah! So we got, and she knows how to use guns, swords, and eyes. All that shit. She's a legit hitman. Okay, out of those three, who's 
Who's the first and last to die in a zombie apocalypse? Between Wick, Rambo. Damn. And Damn. I can't remember her name from Kill Bill. I can't remember her name either. I'll but Uma Thurman for now. Yeah, Uma Thurman. That's tough. I feel like it was some weird name. I feel like... Oh, they just call her the bride. The bride? Yeah, the bride. Yeah, the, bride. Okay. yeah the bride. Yeah, I knew it was something weird. Yeah. So the bride, John Wick, John Rambo. John Rambo, fuck. Fuck. All right, so I feel like Rambo, because he was, you know, like a soldier and everything, yeah. like yeah. he had, like, the survival skills. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Whereas, like, John... Like Wick, he he was just you know a hitman. Well, no, that's the thing is they're all three very highly skilled. Yeah, and they're, they're killing, highly yeah. skilled, but like uh, John, he didn't do like Wick. He didn't do everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas, and it, it's been a while since I've watched the Rambo movies, but he could. Patch himself up pretty decently, right? Didn't didn't Wick do that in part two? Yeah, did he? Mm -hmm. I can't remember, man. It's been a minute, but I know no, he got fucked up. Pretty oh good. yeah, he yeah, got he fucked did. up in yeah. part two. Uh, but Homegirl, she definitely got fucked up. She, dude, yeah, she yeah. went from being uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, Paralyzed. Uh, her all of her shit was atrophied. Oh, Atro yeah. Atro she was whatever. in a coma. Coma. Yeah, came out of that. Made herself. Mood yeah. that once oh she did fix herself yeah, up too. That's the mm -hmm. thing is I think she had like survival skills yeah, too. Yeah. Definitely. Because she was a, she was in a weirder situation than Wick. Like Wick she got seen, buried alive. Yeah. 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 She and got on, shot. Yeah, and on top of that, she also probably has the most skills out of out of all of them. I was about to say, I think she would probably survive it. She would probably survive. I feel like John Rambo might be the first one and die. Might be. Well, I'd say Wick. Wick? Wick's first well, one. Well, does, then, did uh, did Rambo have any uh, close combat skills? I can't remember. I think he, because I think when he, he did. It, it, well, if he did, then I would say it's a it's a pretty fair trade between him and Wick because Wick again knew how to use swords, knew how to use knives, guns. Guns are yeah. Rambo's specialty, as we recall. He's chopping yeah. motherfuckers in half. Yeah, yeah, but I feel like with Rambo, I feel like he might get too reckless in killing something mm -mm. and then something biting him. No, because... No, because the last Rambo movie I saw was the one... Um, the I very last one? Yeah. That's the last one I saw. The Like the most... It was like 2015 or something like yeah. that? No. Actually, I did not see that one. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Pretty, yeah. pretty gory. Yeah. I said he's chopping motherfuckers in half with guns. Mm -hmm. I was like, God I said the last one I saw, and it was fairly recently, within the last couple of years. Um, fuck, I can't remember which one it was. The one where he's in that, like, I think it's like some Colorado town or something like that. I don't even remember that. And he's like, he's like passing through. He just wanted something to eat. And then, like, the cops gave him trouble. It's been a while. Are you thinking of Rocky? <laughs> I don't. Yeah, it's been a while. I don't remember. Yeah, that. I don't remember that. It's it, been a while. It's been like a good decade since I've seen yeah. any, any Rambo yeah, it was, movie. It was one of the older ones because I want to okay, say so it maybe was, part two. Then uh, the, it, I think the first be. one was definitely in the jungle. Yeah. Yeah. No, this one wasn't in the jungle. It was like in the city, up in the hills. Because I know the last one was over there in the jungle too. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was Rambo three. This one where he's got. Uh, I imagine that's it. With the snow and shit. Yeah. Okay, so okay. Rambo 3. Yeah, Rambo. yeah. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've seen any Rambo movies. Yeah. A good decade at least. Yeah, it's been a while. And yeah, he, he basically took over a fucking town because they wouldn't give him any food. You know, he, he just passed through. He just wanted, wanted a meal. Hungry. He just wanted a <laughs> meal on his way passing through. And they're Hell like, yeah. no, fuck you. Gave him shit, Say and he's like, he's like, all right, all right. well, y'all got to die now. <laughs> all, I was was some, all I wanted was some chicken nuggets. Not everybody got to die, bro. All I wanted was some chips. Jesus and Christ. Skittles. I don't know who would die first, but I know who would die last. The bride would die last. Yeah, I just feel like she has more of the skills. More yeah. of the skill set just to kind of 
And probably the termination. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, because she, yeah, she... I mean, because she's trained in stuff other than just weapons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she's got, like, martial arts and yeah. stuff under her belt. Damn, I gotta watch that one, too. I love those movies. Kill Bill 1 yeah, and 2. Those are fucking awesome. Yeah. Man. I, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Once you said it, I was like, fuck, I need to watch those movies. Because those were good as shit. But, but damn. This... And, and think about it, all I hear is beep, beep, yeah. beep, 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 yeah. beep, <laughs> uh, shit, fuck, John Wick versus Rambo, I don't know, in a, man, in a, it's, zom- it's in a, a zombie tough. apocalypse, I still think Rambo will go up first, I think he's a soldier, yes, but I just feel like if necessary, because John Wick has obviously the the ammo, the, I mean the guns, skills, but also again, kind of has. He's more similar to the Bride than Rambo is. Rambo is a very like actiony, like Michael Bay type, take a yeah. motherfucker out. Yeah, but I would say Rambo was more had more survival skills. You would think. Well, all of them but, would. Yeah, I guess all of them would, but you don't really see it for John. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't, like, cut to him, like, yeah, it's always in, in the jungle. city. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's always in the city, so. Yeah, we don't know. I mean, in, I guess in an urban environment, like, it might be good, but, like, he doesn't really do the whole stealth thing. You know what I mean? In the movies. Like, he, he does a little bit. Yeah. Like, a little bit of, like, sniping in one. Stuff like that, but... Like real stealth. Yeah, like real yeah. stealth. Gotta make a poll. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Do it on Instagram? IG, YouTube, all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's a, that's a tough one. I just know out of the three, the bride is probably the going to be the most successful. I don't know if she'll stay alive the whole time because everybody has to die. Oh, that, yeah. In that situation, but... I think she'll I be just the last like, one. Be the last one, at yeah. least. But yeah, that's a good one. John Wick versus Rambo. I wonder Ooh. if there's a death battle on that. We should suggest it. That'd Hell be a yeah. good one. Fuck. That is a good one. Shit. That's a good one because they're kind of kind of similar. It just we get to see Rambo do a lot more because there's, what, five movies? Yeah. Five Rambos? Which there's four John Wicks. But he again, he's always in the cities. Yeah. Right. So Compared to Rambo <clears throat> always being in the jungle or out somewhere or else. Somewhere. Or taking over a goddamn town in Colorado, yeah. apparently. Uh, yeah, that's a good that's a good battle right there. John Wick versus Rambo. Hmm. Hmm. We should probably watch all the Rambo movies. Oh, well, we can just do trauma. research and then come back next week and then be like, "Nah, fucking this guy will die. No, 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 this guy John will Wick. die." The that's whole episode good. is just us fighting of who's gonna <laughs> die first. God damn. John Wick versus Rambo. Man, that's a good one. It is. Hmm. Who else though? Who who would be a who would be an adversary opponent for the bride? Ooh. See, that's a tough one. Doesn't have to be a doesn't have to be a female. It can be yeah anybody. I'm trying to think. Shit. And we're limiting it to action movies, right? Yeah. Real life, not animated. No, yeah, real life. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> who you were thinking? Because well, fucking Goku, <laughs> Goku <laughs> like, yeah. or fucking Goku, Batman, you know. Superman, or something. Yeah, yeah. somebody OP would yeah. molly whop that bitch <laughs> into, the, into the next Asshole. five or six lives. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Hmm. Uh, let's see who who else is there. Um, well, because I was thinking like Black Widow, but what about the infamous guy? Infamous guy. With, right, infamous with the electro. Electric shocks and all that? Nah. Why well, because he needs electricity. Oh, okay. So, I mean, assuming in a zombie apocalypse, chances are we would lose electricity. Unless you lived, unless you were near, like, say, a uh, a solar plant. Or if you just had mad generators, but then yeah. you need gas and diesel you need for that gas shit. And you need electricity to pump mm-hmm. gas. And 
So he he'll be out for sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think who else. Uh... Yeah, because Black Widow would be a good a good one, but again, she's well, no, because they're kind of the same. They're both hitmen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, they're both the same. The only thing that would is, be tough. It, it seems like. Uh, see, I don't know much about comic book Black Widow, so we just see like in the movies, like she does have a lot of gadgets. But that would be another good death battle too. The bride versus Black Widow. Oh shit. They're yeah. both highly trained assassins. Yeah. And one of them was trained in Russia. Yeah. <laughs> There's the thing if we're based off the movies, we know for a fact the bride is not afraid to kill someone. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't I'm sure. Black Widow has killed someone before. Oh, but you know, since it's a Disney movie, they're not gonna like yeah. show it, show it, show yeah. it. Like, yeah, like how Quentin Tarantino will. Oh yeah, so yeah. night and day at this point. Oh fuck yeah, shit. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that one. The Bride versus Black Widow because mm-hmm. that, that's like it's a good and like it's kind of like fight. a it's like a a bad cop versus badder cop. You know, yeah. it's like it's they're not neither of them are. Saints, yeah. So and they're all they're both badass bitches. Come yeah. On. Hmm. Tag team. We got John Wick and the versus Bride Rambo. versus Rambo and Black Widow. Oh shit! All right. That would be a man. What? Get those dudes to do the. Uh, My winner just got hard thinking about that. Hell yeah. <laughs> Mostly because I get to see Rambo naked, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> It is what it is. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna see if if it hasn't been done, but hmm. Hmm. probably put it on the Discord too. <sighs> like put one uh versus like Rambo versus John Wick and then the next Oh yeah, uh, we should do that. Uh Black Widow Remember versus how we used uh, to do brackets, we should do that. Yeah. Like yes. That. Like a versus thing. Yeah. And then have a toll on them on all the socials. And then hmm. everybody like answer. And then from there we'll be like, all right, this is the toll. Here it is. Or or it, you got to be, you got to be specific though. Cause numbers in this situation, numbers can lie. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, this is an extremely biased poll. If that's the case, yeah, would, you really need to see some, some evidence as to why this particular person wins this battle mm, yeah okay yeah because at that point you're kind of just bringing in favoritism subjective opinions you know what i mean yeah. like brian's clearly a, a bigger rambo fan than john wick right this could go on all day yeah. so it's like no no fuck you yeah busy <laughs> fuck you <laughs> yeah yeah oh ass bitch mm. you're a hoe yeah, we'll do some. I'm gonna do some research on Wick and see see if I can find a little background lore. Okay. On him, and you can have more of an argument. Hell yeah! Because based off the movies, it's tough. Right. Yeah. Oh, remembering all the fucking Rambo movies. Yeah. Yeah, I would have to definitely go back and watch those again. It's like fuck. What did he do again? Like I, I forgot about fucking Rambo three. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Again. I, I don't know, it's probably the same thing with uh, you for me, but my dad was just always watching something like that. So you're like, I guess I'm watching Rambo. <laughs> yeah. My dad fucking loved fucking action movies. Hell yeah. Ooh, Hell who would be a yeah. good, who would be a good uh, uh, death battle versus, or versus, versus uh, Robocop? Ooh. Because he was kind of a, you know, essentially like a $6 million man. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. have the technology. <laughs> I mean, Cyborg. Who did we have that was similar to Robocop back in the day? Because we had Robocop, and then I feel like we had someone else. Judge Dredd? Judge Dredd, maybe? No. Yeah, kind of, but I want to say like someone like robotic like him. Uh, like, not exactly like him, but, you know, similar. Similar, yeah. yeah. iRobot? No, just kidding. Oh, that's that's not even a fair fight. Yeah. <laughs> that's an ass whooping waiting to happen. <laughs> to uh, think, uh, I don't know. Similar to, I'm gonna. I'm googling a uh, character similar to RoboCop. T two. Yeah, I think that that that's who I'm Who's thinking. T two. Uh, Terminator. 
Oh, yeah. Arnold. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Get to the job. I right, well, that one. Oh, man. Yes, Ooh. yeah. Yeah. Because Rob- Robocop had a shit ton of gadgets, too, on him. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And the Terminator didn't. He didn't he, have gadgets. Not that I remember, anyway. No, nah, he always no, had No, he didn't shot. really have gadgets. He just always... Grabbed shit, right? Whatever's yeah, right there. Yeah, he just grabbed whatever. Hmm. But he always seemed to have access to, to guns. Guns yeah. or something. Guns. He could tear shit up with you. Yeah. Hmm. And his motorcycle. Robocop was bulletproof, right? He... As far as the suit goes, obviously his mouth. For the most part, yeah. Um, I think in like one of the later movies, they like had like some weapons that would actually like hurt them. Yeah, like the armor piercing type shit. Yeah. yeah. Dude, now that movie I haven't seen since like ninety five, ninety four, ninety five. Wow. It's been a fucking. Minute. I, I, I remember I recently like just saw a clip from. The RoboCop movies and Jesus Christ, they were gory for back yeah. in the day. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah. Homie gets was his name John, whatever. I remember he gets fucked up, dude. He they fuck Swiss, Swiss cheese, Swiss cheese, Damn. bro, in like the middle of the street. And then I'm all, sh- I only see like clips from RoboCop. Yeah, I'm gonna be Just honest. It's yeah. not exactly my favorite movie, but yeah. it's a yeah. It's yeah. He I've gets never fucked seen, like, up in the that full movie. movies. Movies I only seen like clips. Just cause, there's like know. what four. And then oh, the new one, remember. four or five? I think I've only seen the first two. I know there's an ass load of them. I can't remember how many. I, but didn't, I definitely didn't see the new one, the remake or yeah. whatever. I didn't see that one. Yeah, I didn't see that one either. I know a lot of people who are big fans of RoboCop hated that new, that new one. Yeah. I well, shit, I remember they did a, a remake of like Judge Dredd. I don't know if you yeah. remember that. It was an old Stallone movie. Uh, With uh, Carl Urban. And Dennis Rodman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And oh, wait, was Dennis Rodman in that one? I don't know. What am I thinking of? Are you sure you're not thinking of... Uh, the one with John Claude Van Damme? No. Um, Wesley Snipes and Demolition Man. Hey. I could be. Let me see. Because he, cause Wesley was definitely... Um, he looked very Rod Rodman-ish in Demolition Man. You know, what are you trying to say? He, he had like the dyed hair and everything, and this was all like cut, like weird and shit like that. It was very, it was very weird. Hmm. I'm thinking, he I'm had thinking a of a very weird movie. energy too. So, because uh, uh, when you see Rob West, Schneider was in that one, holy shit! Rob, yeah, Rob Schneider. No, yeah, what? In yeah, Demolition Man. This is like this must have been right before his uh, SNL yeah, shit, shit took off. Oh yeah. shit! Hmm. Before he became a funny actor. Demolition Man, yeah, it was. Oh, he was the uh, he was the comedic relief in that movie. Oh, Stallone, okay. Snipes, um, Schneider, and uh, Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock, yeah, Benjamin Bratt too. I forgot about it. Mm-hmm. Damn, dude, Sandra a- Bullock, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, oh shit. I'm yeah, so used to seeing her in like serious movies. And Demolition Man's funny, pretty. It's like it, an action. It's it's a serious yeah. movie. Okay. They, they it has like the. Like the comedic relief mm-hmm. in a couple places. Jack Black's in it. I remember that. Jack Black? Where? Mm-hmm. Okay. I really need to see this movie. Shit. Oh, it's a good movie. I think, mm-hmm. I, think I got it on DVD. Throwback ass movie. But yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Hell throwback. Yeah. And you can, <laughs> like, uh, with the TV, I don't know if it's the the, the <laughs> screen or whatever. Yeah. Like, you can really see how, old how it bad is. it looks. Like, you're like, God damn. <laughs> like, at the time, you're like, man, that shit, was, I can't believe how fucking awesome this is. And then you watch it, you're like, Ugh. Jesus, so fuzzy, yeah, so or, grainy, or, or like not even that, just like how visible some effects are. Like you can literally see, or like it's like computer done. You know, like if you watch uh, Terminator now, oh, like when okay. he's melting and shit, mm-hmm. you can definitely tell that it's fake. It looks even worse in that this movie. Shit. Yeah, Damn. and like if you watch like in a, like a Disney movie, an actual hand drawn, uh, like Aladdin. I don't know if y'all remember if y'all ever noticed this, but like if something was about to happen in a cartoon, that cartoon would be lighter yeah. or darker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can really see it like in, now. In that movie. Now I guess maybe just because our eyes eyes are so trained to seeing shit in like higher resolution. And, yeah. So when you see that stuff now, you're just like, damn, like you can literally see what's about to happen. Or when there's like a little like they call it cigarette burns, they'd be in the top right corner, it's like a little dot, and then it would jump to the oh, next yeah, scene. Yeah. You're like, Oh shit, I never even paid attention to that. Sarah was like, Look how bad this looks. I was like, damn. That's crazy. Oh, 
<laughs> it's like looking old photos of you back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Like the actual ones where they like took it out from the fucking uh the the film roll, yeah. yeah. The the ones that you disposed the disposable cameras. Shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, but yeah, when you actually had to go take them to somebody in a in a dark room and get them developed and shit. Oh, we took them to Walmart, but yeah. still, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. true. Yeah, my my mom has the old ass pictures. I'm talking like shit. It looks like goddamn Jack from Titanic drew them and shit. Damn, old bro. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn. What was it like being born in that <laughs> in the mid 1900s? <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> That's right. They say we were born in the late 1900s. <laughs> You're right, yeah. Goddamn Gen Z assholes. Hey, it, bro. Maybe you know more about this than I do. Apparently some Twitch streamer was arrested for starting a riot in Times Square. What? You know anything about it? No. So w- what's the story? Twitch oh, I don't know. I just figured it was a gaming thing. Uh, I don't know his name. He said he was going to give away... Something. Okay. I don't remember what it was, but it was worth a lot. And, like, man, I want to say it was like 500,000 people or some shit like that came out in the Times Square for this. I can't remember the exact number, but it was like, it stopped all traffic in Manhattan. Oh, shit. <laughs> like every, and then, like, obviously, shit got crazy. Yeah. Fucking riot ensued. And they're Hell like, yeah. you are to blame. So now you go to jail. Damn. Nice. I, how many, I can't remember. I saw what the. What was it that he was, like, giving away uh, or that's selling? What I, that's what I need to look up because. It was a video card. I could understand. <laughs> he ain't lying. <laughs> Shit. Was it a? Uh, did you see that Post Malone bought the the ring uh, card from yeah, Magic? I saw yeah. that. He paid like two million dollars to one dude who. Yeah, that like, dude was broke down in tears. Yeah, he was like, yeah. "Oh my god, I finally have like money," and I was like, "Oh shit." Yeah. It's like, damn, bro, you you did it. You made it for now. Don't don't spend it all. Well, shit. I mean, I would I would invest that in more cards. Like, there's that one guy. Uh, I can't remember his name. Cassius Marsh, I think, NFL player, super young cat. Like that. It was he was either playing football or he was playing Magic. Yeah. And so once he got in the NFL, he just invested all of his money in that shit. Now he has like some something with that Joe Mag Mag Magnagello, whatever Magnagello. He's a Oh, I know who you're you talking know what I'm talking about. about? Yeah, yeah. yeah, he played Flash in the first Spider Man. Uh but yeah, he they partnered up together to start this crazy thing for magic, like this crazy competition, like and then like some crazy community or whatever, but they're they invested millions of dollars in this shit. Yeah. So like if someone wants a, to buy a card that's super rare, they gotta go through them now. Like they're basically the new card kingdom. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah. Hmm. It is. They spent some money. Was it uh and then Pokemon cards too? The fucking yep. expensive as shit. Like, God damn, when are the cards getting so expensive? It's a nostalgia thing, bro. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking us millennials who Who finally have the money for it. Finally have the money for it yeah. and now we want it. And the problem is the people who had us as their kids are like, Yeah, I'll sell it to you, but it's gonna be five grand or Yeah. Insert crazy number here. So You're like shit. Oh well I have All it. Right, here fuck you it go. I got it. <laughs> It's like, say less. I always wanted a holographic Mew. And there it is. Yeah. Boom. Or first edition uh, holographic Char- Charizard. Yeah. Ding. Or a dark Charizard, bro. Anything that was like, I remember like holographics were the shit. Hell yeah. Like, if you had, it didn't even matter if it was like a damn, uh, uh, I don't know, something like Ratata or whatever. Oh, Ratata. Rat- Rat- See, the the weird thing is for us. At least for me, was like, like back in the day, was getting a hold of the misprints. Oh yeah, that was the thing, the misprints. And I, I had a couple, and I don't remember what I did with them, but I had a couple. Those things of are like gold, cards. right? Huh? Those things are like gold, right? You can just yeah. hold on to them, and then they go up in value or something. They're like worth a lot just because it's one rare, like it's it's only one misprint, I guess. Some of them. No. Yeah. Because I mean, if you get a misprint, depending on how many prints they printed, mm-hmm. uh, it, it it can go up or down on va- value. So, like, let's say they printed 
five of those cards and one of them is a, a misprint you know how much money you'll get for one misprint it's crazy that like a, a fucked up card is yeah worth that much money i mean mm-hmm. i get it because it, yeah. it, it was the same way back in the day like if you had a you know michael jordan rookie card or some shit right to this day i still think those things are and i could be wrong but i want to say they're three to 10 grand or something like that depending on the condition like if they're still in a little plastic case and all yeah. that stuff like yeah I, I, I still don't get how baseball cards are still a thing nostalgia bro nostalgia. Nostalgia. same thing with Pokemon cards and Digimon cards and, and coins magic and yeah fucking coins if you got like a fucked up uh, misprint coin oh yeah those things are valued like I don't know they, they, they go for a lot of money Bro, do y'all, do y'all know anybody who collect those the the fifty state coins? coins? No. I uh, mean, we probably meant clients who did, but no. I feel like I did, but I can't remember who. You're so white. <laughs> I was just about to ask if it's trash to do that, but <laughs> hell yeah, not really. I mean, because then. You have 50 quarters laying around, so that's 12 bucks. Yeah, but 12 <laughs> bucks that you're not spending the yeah, fuck? Yeah, just sitting there basically collecting, collecting dust. dust after collecting. What are some weird things to collect? Obviously, something like human skulls. That's fucking insane. Yeah, that's but, weird. Yeah, but like, outside of that, like, what would, what would be a weird thing? Outside of the obvious crazy shit. Yeah. Like Collecting Tony sodas. Shit. Yeah. See, sodas, I can if, if understand. It's the, if it's the can, like, or the can or the bottle looks dope. Yeah, because if you actually go from, like, the, like if, like, say, Coca-Cola, like, if you have, like, every, like, bottle redesigned that they've done since they Back started, the day, yeah. then, yeah, that's a fucking serious collector's item. Hmm. I'm sure they have it even in a fucking museum, but... Yeah, they do. They have yeah. a Coke what bottle is it? museum. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Coke yeah. bottles? Like yeah, my, my uncle has one. It's, uh, it's like a Louisville Slugger bat. It's just Coke. That's all it is. It's just a Coca-Cola. Yeah. But it, uh, back in like 2000, I think he checked, or 2001, like he took it to this guy on the mall, and that thing was worth like $200, and he only paid like 10 Right, ten, eleven bucks for it. Damn, just because of the the way it looks like a Louisville Slugger bat. Yeah, now I ain't no telling. That was what twenty three years ago, twenty two years ago. Oh so, yeah, they're probably oh, worth yeah. a lot more. Yeah, and Coke is such a big like brand. I'm pretty sure a lot of people yeah. want to pay like big money for <laughs> the, shit the beverage like that. of America. Hell yeah, <laughs> Hell yeah. You lying? <laughs> oh, you know what I think is dumb. What's and I'm that? sorry if y'all do this, but I think it's dumb. The Collector edition popcorn tubs. Oh yeah, I think from that's the movie done. theaters, yeah. like oh, like the the plastic one is like a holog- holographic, oh, yeah, whatever you know. What I'm talking yeah. about the yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about like the. I think what for Thor: Love and Thunder, they came out with Mjolnir as a like a popcorn thing. It was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, yeah, I could understand. Yeah, that, that. one. Yeah, I, but I if understand. it's just a regular tub, yeah. You're like, okay, you've got fucking step up 3D tub. What are you gonna do with it? <laughs> like, yeah, it's the nastiest tub. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I, mean I, I guess it feels like a nice quality. Then it's a you, fucking plastic thing with what, a, a paper like thing. Well, it's, wrapped it's usually around like it. that. Uh, what's it called when you? It's like the 3D, the holographic thing, whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. it's usually like that. So like I know like whenever Endgame came out, they had one, and I was like, I think I'm gonna get that. And then I was like, how fucking trash would I be if I, I was like, <laughs> I don't want that shit, dog. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could always use it at home. For for I guess popcorn. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Mm. But honestly, I would rather just go get like just a cool ass popcorn tub. You know, just get one from like online or at a store. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Just get like a really like nice or fancy one or something like that. You know. But buy one from the fucking uh, movie theater. It's just I don't know. For me, yeah. it's just. Waste of money. Yeah, I mean, because you're definitely overpaying. Yeah, because first of all, the tub is going to be like 30, twenty plus yeah. bucks, whatever yeah. it may be. And then the popcorn. Yeah, and then the popcorn, and then the drink. You're already spending way more on the con- at the concession stand than you, than you are on the ticket. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a given. Mm-hmm. So then to add on to that shit, like yeah, because was it? Sarah was like, "Let me get the Spider Man one." I was like, 
what are we going to do with that thing? Yeah. Like, what? Like it's, just, it's literally just going to take up space. Like, you're going to have to put shit in it. Mm-hmm. It's going to become storage. She was like, all right. Well, I was like, uh, and they, no, the main thing they're doing now is like the cups and stuff. Like the collector cups and stuff. Yeah, they are. See, now I can understand that if if you could bring it with you every time to the theater yeah. and get a get it. But filled that's up. usually yeah. not the case. No. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck? Because there's no there's no free refills. So yeah. at least at Cinemark. Yeah. So not anymore. It used to be though. It used to be. When you got the large mm-hmm. soda, like, oh okay, here you go, free refill. Like hell yeah. Gang, gang. Now they're like, you gotta pay for everything. You gotta mm-hmm. take a shit. There's a quarter machine right there. <laughs> like, god damn. I remember uh, you get a free refill in the large popcorns too, back in the day. I was like, "Shit, God, I missed that shit, bro!" Hell yeah! But you know, cap- capitalism being all weird. Oh, dude, I didn't even know I had that close. You probably out of frame this whole time. <laughs> probably. <laughs> what an asshole! Oops. <laughs> Oops. Well, if that's the case, we'll just do audio only. <laughs> You're right. Nah, well, right. I've been sitting about right here this whole time, and it looks like I've been in front. Yeah, I, I, I aimed it up so the way it could get, no matter where you sat. Yeah. So, hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. Just don't fuck it up. Easy. Yeah. Uh, I kind of, uh, rather if you'd let me, like, sit back, because this is kind of uncomfortable. Well, I didn't know. what You sat there, so that's why yeah. I put the camera. So that's I sat here because he was sitting there. Oh, well, well, well next mean, time, can... we'll, well, the next time... He can, or he can sit here and I'll sit here. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll have you sit over there like we did when we first started using the couch. Yeah. Yeah. He blamed this asshole. <laughs> it's all his fault. Damn Israel taking up the whole couch. Taking up the whole, I'm, I'm literally on one section. What the fuck? Hey. Just taking up the whole goddamn couch. Why are you bringing the bullshit, bro? All right. Let's just go along. <laughs> <laughs> you took his ass guys. chewing, dog. <laughs> fuck you guys. You fucking, every, you fucking everything up. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I'll quit too. <laughs> <laughs> Brian just comes over. So I'm gonna do the podcast. I'm like, bitch, what? You just gonna take up my living room? What the, fuck? the fuck? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Wait, what were we talking about? We we're talking about movies and collections. Oh yeah, yeah. I think the to- the at the top of that list should be teeth. Oh, oh yeah, easily. Uh-uh. Like if you had all your old baby teeth, not even that. Just like, oh hey, just random, just teeth? like random people's teeth. Oh hell no, that would be weird. What about people? But who- I think like in a collection sense, like if you had all your old baby teeth, yeah, collecting that would be weird. Yeah. What yes. about people who co- collect uh, nails? That's what you're saying, like toenails and shit. Like that's mm, definitely that's weird. weird. That's weird. I think anything yeah. that comes from. The your body. body or anybody yeah Mm-mm. it's fucking weird <laughs> collect hair because i know like maybe if it's your kid you can get like their first lock Hell of hair no. after they get a haircut or something. maybe i don't know but i don't know i just find it weird yeah i mean it's just super obsessive yeah it's kind of creepy yeah yeah it's like all right your kid is growing up it's okay it happens yeah. to everybody yeah everybody to you yeah there's this one movie we saw can't remember who was the chick who was like bathing in like young chick's blood. It's like medieval time shit. She would put them in the Iron Maiden, and then she would like. She had the right idea, but oh, she would. I know what you're talking about, but I can't remember her name. Yeah, that that is for found so the youth, stuff. right? Uh, yeah, to keep her young. To keep her young. Yeah. Again, she had she was on the right track, but she wasn't swapping out her blood right. with someone younger. So, I can't remember this bitch's name, but... I can't remember her name either, on, but I know who see. you're talking about. Fuck. She was like a queen or something. Yeah. I can't remember. I mean, it, I've I've seen that trope or whatever in several different things, like books and yeah. games and stuff like that, that honestly, like... You queen, oh, uh, Countess Elizabeth Bathory. There you go. Yeah. She would, damn, she killed over 600 people. Badass. My kind of bitch. <laughs> but yeah, her, uh, what she did when she fell in love with this dude, she like cut open like her collarbone like super deep and took a lock of his hair, put it in there and then sewed it. I was like, that's not good. That's <laughs> that sounds uh, like a bad infection waiting to happen. For bitch. real. Yeah. How yeah. did she die? I don't know. Oh, uh, what's it called? Well, they just put you in a room. Uh, you're not allowed to leave. It's not prison, but like. Uh, oh, okay, I know. Like uh, they, they did it in the old times. Like there was, it was basically like a bedroom. 
Yeah, it, it's basically a kind solitary like, confinement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically that. Kind of like shunning them from. Yeah. Because they couldn't kill her because she was she had like a uh, rank or a royalty ranking. So yeah. they were like, all right, well, well, we can at least do this yeah. and wait. Crazy ass bitch. Hell yeah. That's oh, what I'm going wow. to shut up. That's Killing wow. all these people just to like bathe in blood and be like, I'm be young. I wonder who gave her that idea. That I don't know. Right? You know? But it's, again, she, it, it's one of the crazy things to think of like when like people thought of like back in the day. Not only know? that, the power just to be because, like, fuck it. I mean, they were very. <sighs> Blood was like a obsession. Well, not really obsession, but it was like <sighs> it had a lot of power, they thought back in the day. You know what and I mean? And taboo, too. Yeah. It was yeah. also taboo. But, you know, like, you know. Young virgin blood, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or you know, like letting out the bad blood, stuff like that. Which, again, that's it's great because of, of where they used to do it back then. It was bad, like it was like on wrist and like very like you know dangerous spots. But like if they were to just do it right there, yeah. I mean, that's kind of it's kind of what they do whenever they uh, do blood transfusions. Just not in a very healthy way. But see, they they didn't do transfusions. They just it was just bloodletting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. But I'm saying it's it's similar, like in that, like where they're like they're they're on the right track, but it's not safe nor healthy the way they did it. Like it was like, yeah, you maybe you do new blood will heal you, but not whenever you have a fucking giant gash on your leg that's going to get infected. Yeah, right. Like, one of the ways that they do it with cancer patients and shit like that is blood transfusions, new blood. And like, that's why women last longer than men. We don't bleed. We don't get rid of bad shit like they do. We just hold it in. Well, and- yeah, there was, I mean, there's something called blood doping mm-hmm. that some athletes might try, but it's. Sorry, saying we just yeah. need to bleed a little bit. I mean, it it helps. Like, uh, what's his name? That crazy motherfucker who's done every drug in the in the world, lead singer Rolling Stones. He's been doing blood transfusions weekly since I don't know the eighties, I think. Damn. Yeah. And yeah. That's why he's still alive. Transfusions. I don't know. He's doing he's doing blood doping. That's different than bloodletting. Yeah, I know. I, I know. You you. you it sounds like you're trying to put them together. Yeah, you're trying to make them sound like they're both the same thing when they're not. No, I'm just saying. Like, I, I know they're not the same. I'm saying they were on the right track. Like they had that. They had the the idea was correct. Like, yes, you can do with new blood, but not whenever you just cut somebody the fuck open. Yeah, and, and just swim in it. Yeah, yeah, like that's not. But and then the same thing with the chick bathing in blood. Like she was on the right track, but. She was retarded. The wrong and, way. Yeah, yeah, she was retarded and was like, yeah, externally is how you do it. No, it should be internally. internally. Yeah, but like, also you, there's like a lot of danger to swapping out blood that doesn't match your blood type. Easy. I said they're on the right track. I didn't say that scientifically they were accurate. I'm saying, yes, it's wrong. She was retarded. Yeah. yeah, she was retarded for yeah. bathing and other. It was getting in her mouth and shit like this fucking cross contamination, all kind of yeah. nasty shit. She yeah. was retarded. It's like iron. But I'm fuck? saying they were on the right track. That's what I'm saying. They're like, hey, maybe we're on. So they didn't know that they were on the right track, but like, who knew the blood is what? Yeah, like they you young if you in the 1600s. It. Yeah, they didn't have that kind of technique. They were just like, oh shit, I'm gonna bathe in some chick's period blood. That's what it said. <laughs> Ooh. She really bathed in their period blood. It's fucking disgusting. But mm. she thought by rubbing it on her skin that that was a way but, to do it. Yeah. yeah, The blood was correct, but not the way she was doing it or the way anybody was doing it back then. Cutting a motherfucker open and... Just eat more leafy greens. Well, they didn't know that shit. This is 1600s, bro. Yeah. yeah. Go, back, saying, go back and tell them that. <laughs> not us. Yeah, People. you're the one with the time machine. Yeah. Come on. Where? Isn't that what you said <laughs> during our little time machine or yeah. uh, three wishes thing? You get, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you had, you yeah. had a watch or something like that. I don't remember what it was. Oh, yeah. To see. 
just to see. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the thing. I didn't want to change the past. I just wanted to see how see the future. Yeah, see the future. Yeah. yeah. I want to go back in time so I can tell that bitch. Hey, my friend Brian said you're retarded, and he wants and to suck your blood. Wasn't there a, a like a presidential candidate who was really into that, like back in like 2000 or something? Word? I think he was in Minnesota. Hold on. I think that was really, like, he really, like, his wife literally, he would suck her blood and shit. What the fuck? Yeah. I didn't know that. Badass. No, not badass. <laughs> Candidate, who was a vampire? I think he was, like, a vampire. That was his claim. Uh, well, what's his name? Count? <laughs> so this is in 2014. Fuck, what's his name? Well, I typed, I typed in vampire, and everyone they, they're just calling all politicians bloodsuckers, which I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was this dude. Like, yeah, like his his canines really Sharp. sharpened down to look like a vampire and like drink his wife's blood and shit. It was weird. Mm-hmm. And he was like almost on the debates. Almost made it to the to the debates, which you know he had that that vermin supreme <laughs> luck. Yeah, where he almost he almost made it. Like who you know how many votes you have to get for that shit? Can That's imagine, wild. Like knowing the person you're voting for is a legit psychopath who thinks he's a vampire. Jesus Christ! And you're still like, I think he can make it. Yeah, he might be a little on the fucking schizo side, but hey, he's got good policies. My <laughs> man. <laughs> He represents us. It's like, you're a vampire too? The fuck? I don't know this fool's name, man. I can't. Uh, I don't know if it was him. It was, I remember it was like during like the Bush and Kerry. Uh, oh. So whatever year that was, 05 or something yeah. like that. That's whenever like people, there was like pictures of him back when the internet was kind of a newer thing. Yeah. yeah. The sad part is, is that I feel like Ver, vermin, Vernon, Vermin, Vermin, Supreme can or probably will become president at some point because everyone's gonna be like, you know what, this guy's on to something. Idiocracy, bro. <laughs> yeah, like you know how close <laughs> that can happen one day. <laughs> Plants crave it, dog. <laughs> it could be that that type of situation. Jesus Christ. If this if this civilization and this society still exists in the next five hundred years, we're gonna be the smartest, dumbest civilizations yeah. on you know in history. He ain't lying because we're gonna have really good technology, but will we know what to do with it? No. Probably not. Mm-mm. There will be a handful of people who actually know how to use the technology, and they'll be controlling us pretty much. Yeah. What's up? I was just thinking, <laughs> just from the movie, you know, he, he wants, you know, coffee. He wants to go to Starbucks. The guy's like, well, we don't have time for you to get a hand job. Because <laughs> 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 everything is sex. So, yeah. yeah. So, like, if you go and go to Starbucks, you get a, a coffee and a hand job. Hell yeah. <laughs> or you go, <laughs> go get your taxes done and a hand, hand job. job. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> There's one thing we can pull from idiocracy. <laughs> Just be able, giving out more yeah, hand be jobs. able to get a hand job everywhere yeah, for real. Because it, it would take care of a lot of stress, mm-hmm. a lot of less, a lot less incels and and uh, a lot post nut clarities. Yes, yes, that's the main thing, bro. Yeah, feel like I will be making more better decisions. Oh hell yeah! To be honest, you can't make you can't make a good decision with a heavy sack, bro. Yeah. That's just. My favorite is that Louis C.K. bit. He was like, when he was horny, he'll leave his car in the middle of the street. He doesn't give a fuck about it. He's like, fuck my car. I'll just I'll, I'll get it in the morning. He's like, once you bust, you're like, where's my fucking car? <laughs> like, what, what, what was I thinking? Like, yeah. Why did I leave it out there? Yeah. That's. We do a whole episode on post night clarity. Hell yeah. But we should. Things that we need. Yeah. Some dude was talking about he uh, he fell in love with a hooker on Reddit. All right. Or I guess a sex worker. Uh, I'm in love with this stripper. Yeah. yeah. But 
he like legit fell in love with her. Okay. And uh, she, like to this day, she is still doing that job. Wait, are they married? Yes. They're married? And she's still like doing her yep. hooker things. And he's okay with it. I guess so. What the fuck? So, is is there a difference between dating a porn star and a hooker? Yes. I feel like it is. Because, I mean, with a porn star, she can eventually go solo with a dildo compared with, like, a hooker. She's satisfying someone else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, it's, I think... It both it, they both start off like that, you know, like satisfying some need, yeah. I guess, you know, find it for financial gain, and then it can just cut with. I don't know. I always wanted to ask a sex worker how their dating life goes because I always hear like they have to date inside their industry just because the people inside their industry understand it more compared to people who are outside. Mm-hmm. But they are there are people who. Or outside who do date them, but I don't know. I just feel like it. It's much more different. For I wonder them. if I could find a sex worker on a uh, Reddit on Reddit, and then mm-hmm. that'd be cool. That would that'd be a dope conversation. Because again, I remember uh, like people's interviewing like sex mm-hmm. sex workers about um, dating. It's like, mm-hmm. man, it's always so fucking hard. It's like, damn. I imagine. I mean, it's one of the more quote unquote taboo occupations you know yeah so and then obviously everyone's like oh you look familiar <laughs> yeah yeah you know and they get all happy like you know am yeah, i like, next like what, what do i know you from and then she opens her mouth there it is <laughs> <laughs> there you go call me daddy <laughs> hot come time machine <laughs> <laughs> edward deal with hands yeah <laughs> You don't I need, kick the table. You don't need oh, that toe anyway. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I forget that you got that your nails Ooh, out. What do they look like? Show me after. I don't want to. Uh, yeah. No, no, you're not there. Uh, oh. 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 Okay. It's not oh, too it's bad. Not bad. You just yeah. really don't have a nail. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like you have a nail, but you don't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah from far away, it'd be like, oh, he's just got a a really short nail, short yeah. nail, or a really thin nail. Yeah. But then you get close on, and you're like, oh. He has nothing. Has no nail. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's not too bad. Oh, I thought not it was bad, gonna be yeah. ugly. No, no. Uh, it, after it healed up, it looks pretty normal. So yeah. can you like put the same amount of pressure on there and shit, or like doesn't it, you can just walk normally? Can like you, it yeah. doesn't. Okay. Can you doesn't, do the thing? No. Yeah, it doesn't hurt anymore. I mean, because the problem was is that my nails were growing into my toes, mm-hmm. so I couldn't put pressure on them. But now you can walk fine. I can walk normal. I ain't got to fucking take a Dremel to my fucking toenails. Hell yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You're walking tall? Hell yeah. I got to do something about mine, too. My, the ones on my right foot where I took a lot of broken toe damage. Uh, Bailouts. Fuck a lot yeah. of, fucked a lot of the nails up and, like, the I guess the ring finger, the ring toe. Yeah. That bitch, like, it grows high instead of, like, straight. Like, it's, yep. like, always, like, soft underneath there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the nail's been knocked off so many times. Damn. It's like, yeah. Jesus It's really Christ. bad. Mm-hmm. And then this, it's either this one or this one where, like, the pinky nail's just gone. Oh, it doesn't yeah. even exist. Yeah, it's like, I mean, the tiniest sliver of nail. I'm like, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even have to trim that one. Right. Like, yeah. just, just fuck it. Like, I, it I, do, I swear to God, I probably haven't trimmed that thing in, since I was, like, 15, 16. Damn. It just never grows. It's there, but it never grows. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't know what happens. Probably something in the breakage that must have fucked something up, but yeah, it's gross. No, it was, uh, yeah, get it done. I mean, yeah, get it done. Because <laughs> I'd say definitely, it, like, it helped me out a lot. No more pain. Like, because I know my problem was, like, I sometimes end up kicking the wall or whatever, mm-hmm. like, while I'm in bed or something. And it goes in deeper. Yeah, I end up, like, hitting, like, right there and. Just like ah, push the man. nail in or something. Yeah, it just hurts because I mean the nail was already digging, so mm-hmm. and now it's even worse. Yeah, but now nah, kick no the wall, pain. just be fine. I mean, other than you know, you kicking the wall, kicking the wall kicking, with your fucking yeah. toe. But yeah, 
It's like, all right, now it's my turn. God. But now, like, the tiniest little thing doesn't hurt. Yeah. Back then, this would just be instant pain. Hmm. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus well, you got that done. That shit does look odd. It does. It does look weird. And uh, the, like the doctor was talking to me about it, he's like, some people, they do end up, like, if they're self-conscious about it, they might, like, get, like, a fake toenail and, like, put it on there. Hmm. Where, where, where do you get those? Just from, like, cosmetic I, store I, I or something like, like that? The, well, like, what the women get. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, so, like, like I know you, you could probably get them at, like, Walmart because they, they just add them on top of the, 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 the regular, the, regular yeah. the real nail and, like, yeah. just make it look. You just have to get, like. Um, like skin glue or something? Yeah, maybe like the spirit gum or something. Mm. Sp- you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. For the... Yeah. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. So so what now? Do the bitches like, like sucking your toes or what? I don't know. I haven't had any bitches. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm currently bitchless right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bitches, you want to hook your boy up and suck my toes or what? I'm gonna do. I gotta. Fi- I gotta reach out to a uh, to a sex worker now. Ooh. So we can. Cool. What we can do? We need to go get that shit from the other studio. Everything. That way, we don't have to. We can wear the headphones too. Oh. So we yeah, can actually yeah. have a conversation with her. And listen, be like, hey, yeah. what do you do? I just gotta, I gotta, hmm. I don't even know what subreddit I would look into to find that. Sex, ex-sex workers? I guess. Yeah. Uh, on sub, on Reddit, that's probably a thing. Or you can be like a uh, ex-sex uh, worker who settled. Like settled down. Or like current. I want to see. Oh, okay, that too. Yeah, if, yeah, maybe like both, like current and former. Mm-hmm. Like see like, you know. If it affected their life or if it's affecting their life, you know. Pros and cons, A, B, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. as far as like getting into relationships and stuff like that. How much money, how less money, is it worth getting into, not worth it? It depends on what you're doing. Doing. Yeah, who you're working for. Yeah, Yeah. That's the thing I I think is is that um, some of those companies... Mm -hmm. Studios, whatever, they're probably a little bit more exploitive than others. I know. Uh, there's that one thing that's on uh, Netflix. It's pretty old. It's like maybe like five, six years old. But uh, at the time, a lot of those chicks were like, they get called in for a quote unquote, you know, BJ scene. Yeah. But then it ends up being like, uh, was it like forced or something like that? Where like it's so basically like they don't want to do it. So it was almost like a a rape scene in a sense, but like, that's just like really aggressive. So, and like a lot of it has to do with like throwing up and shit. It's like that kind of kink. So they'll, they'll get paid like 200 bucks to do that as opposed to like 150 for the other one. Normal. Like yeah. something that they would do. They were all right. Without doing aggression. That. And, uh, yeah. And like there's certain sex scenes where certain people they don't want to work with, with guys because they're like, some guys sh- show up, they sit down with them, talk, have a drink, you know, coffee, whatever, like have a normal conversation. Then they get to work and then some guys walk in and they're just like beating the shit out of women. Like that's how, that's the only way they can get their dick hard. And you're like, oh, hell okay. no. I would have been like, no, nope, yeah. I'm out. Yeah. And she was like, and it's really. It, it's what? a show or is it a It's like a documentary. It's a documentary, okay. yeah. But one of the girls was like, yeah, I was supposed to be in this scene with like. She was supposed to be like a third girl with this guy. I don't remember his name, but like he showed up and he was familiar with the other two, not with her. So he went up and like grabbed him by the back of their neck really hard and like just started throwing them on the couch and shit. And like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I was like, and so she was like, I'm out. I'm out this motherfucker. This is crazy. <laughs> like, Who was it? Trevor Bauer or what? No, nah, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, some, uh, some European guy. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. But she was supposed to only make like, I say only, but I don't know how much their rates are, like 500 bucks for that. She was like, I'm not getting paid. To get the shit beat out of me Mm-mm. by this dude, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> With no insurance, fuck yeah. that. Hell I, no. I doubt you're in SAG. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting this shit beat out of me. <laughs> this was fucking it, uh, random dude. <laughs> the union didn't tell me I was yeah, supposed to be exactly. doing this shit. Hell uh, do no. they have a union? I thought they did. Sex workers union? That would make sense. I thought they did, but I'm not too sure. I have no idea. 
kind of look into that sex workers union. I wonder if that's really a thing. Well, I think you have to look more into like porn actors union, not really sex workers. Yeah. Well, they do international union of sex workers. I don't know where this. Yeah, but that might be for like actual like brothels and stuff like that. No, it applies to everything. Hmm. Word? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's called, it's, it just says that uh, this basically falls under the sex industry branch umbrella. Yeah, because I could have sworn hmm. I heard somebody talk about that once in an interview. And I was like, oh, shit, I didn't know sex workers have unions or a union. Hmm. Hey, it makes sense, shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> Getting paid to do the tough jobs nobody wants to do. But want to see. But want to see, yeah. yeah. You want to be involved with it, but not be involved with it at the same time. Yeah. Or fantasy want to do it. Yeah. Goddamn right, brother. I need to find, I need to see if I can find a, find one on Reddit. I just don't know where to look. You got it. So if any of you sex workers are watching, to quote Chrissy D and Sal, and I know you are. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> Hell uh, yeah. Hit us up. Or if you know somebody who's in the... Oh, he doesn't know Var? Oh, yeah, he does. He does know somebody. I think he actually asked if they if he, if he they wanted to... What did they say? I don't remember. We need to call Navar and ask. Yeah. We need to have him back. Yeah. I miss him. Yeah. Ban them shits. <laughs> like I said, well, whenever you're all ready, go back over there. We just got to clean that room up first before we do. Oh, yeah, 100%. Because it looks probably... They've probably been throwing all kind of shit in there now. Hell, yeah. Uh, like, the table's probably not even visible. <laughs> shit all right, used once, up and all that. Dude, once I went in there, and I almost wanted to run in the house and beat the shit out of them. There was literal trash bags, like, open... Flies buzzing around it and everything. Oh hell! No. On like where you were, uh, him and uh, Navar were Sit sitting. Down. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I was like, bro, and I just had to forbreeze the shit out of it. And it was like mm-hmm. a couple of weeks later, I was like, yeah, we can go, we can go to my place. Yeah, <laughs> fuck this shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I do, I do miss the. Uh, yeah, the room. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. us hanging out. I miss that dirty ass smell. Mm-hmm. We just got to clean that bitch out. Yeah, that's all we got to do, and then we'll be good. Okay. Get rid of all that damn Christmas tree shit that's in there, whatever, whatever the fuck's in there. I don't know where they want it. Ah, fuck it. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Bro, we just throw that shit away, dog. <laughs> just, tell them, just tell them, hey, we're about to clean this room out. Tell us what you want and don't want. Otherwise, it's getting tossed on me. <laughs> we're having a bonfire outside. Yeah. <laughs> in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. Well, if he's cut the yard, which I doubt he has. <laughs> We'll, we'll do him a favor. Yeah, we'll we'll burn do, it. Burn it. Burn the fucking <laughs> burn the house down too. Fuck yeah. You get some insurance money, dog. Hell yeah. And while you're at it, you're building us a podcast room. <laughs> <laughs> you're building us a studio now. Yeah, you're building us a studio, bitch. We'll, just leave, we'll leave everything in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We did you a favor. Yeah. Because the foundation and that bitch needs to be redone. Mm-hmm. The roof. Damn near uh, everything, yeah. Plumbing for sure. Mm-hmm. House is a disaster. But anyway. You ready to roll? Yeah. Yeah. All right, you bags of shit. That was episode 293. 293. Catch you hold next week. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Peace.